2013, at the start of the Rio cycle, we were looking for an opportunity to engage with school programs. So we came up with a concept, and that was the Pathway Aid, and we saw that as a, a really exciting vehicle to actually start to have some really positive conversations again with school athletes. So I originally started rowing when I was 15 in grade 10. I uh, rowed up until grade 12, where I first made the Queensland Pathway 8. It's really nice to be able to feel a part of something bigger than your school rowing and your clubs and to learn a lot about different rowing styles and to come out here a place like Cirque and to give your best shot over 2k. In Tasmania we've seen a significant increase in the participation from all around the state. It started off six or seven years ago where we had about four people come to the pathway and uh, we've tried to get eight since that time. It uh, hasn't been easy but now we're finding a great increase in the numbers. Just getting together with other kids that, whose experiences are so similar because they've been rowing but yet also so different with the environments that they've trained in. It was really, really enjoyable for me. Winning today, it was really something special mostly because everyone in the crew and myself, it had been kind of the, the culmination of many, many years. Pathway as a word sometimes suggests linear, but we know athletes' progression and their journey is far more complex than that. We know that the role of the dice, you may go forward two spaces or you may go back six spaces. We know that's going to be different for every person. When we started this project in uh, 2013, we had three in total who turned up. To have 23 and to see the, the A finals, the B finals, so that's over 200 young men and women who have been here representing their state. They see this now as a, as a boat to be in.